In this video tutorial, we're going to be talking about Binance Spot Trading and how to use trade analysis on the Binance Spot Trading Market. Okay, so to get right into it, the first thing we need to do is to go to the trade option here. Okay, the middle icon here, down here, the middle menu where it says trade. That is where we can assess our spot trading option. I'm going to do all that I'm going to show you here using the mobile app. Okay, so that majority of you can follow up. Okay, so if I click on trades, it brings us to this trading interface. All right. So here on the trade option, you can assess the convert option, the spot trading option, the margin option, the fiat, P2P, and the auto invest, okay? But our focus there is going to be on the spot trading, right? Okay, now, when you come to the spot trading, you already know that the green button here is for buy, as, as in, 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 you can see indicated there, buy, and then the other option, if I select it, it will be highlighted red, is for sell okay so you already know this let me just assume that you already know if you don't know already this is your buy and sell option but how do you know when to buy that is why the trade analysis tools okay um is necessary how do you know when to buy how do you know when to sell that is when the analysis option comes up so to assess the um chatting platform on the binance exchange on the app here on the trade option if you're on the spot market just go ahead and click on this two candlestick option here okay the symbol the candlestick symbol there click on it and that would take us to the chart for this particular asset that is selected okay here we have btc usdt selected you can see the current price you can see the chart and you can see that i have some indicators enabled already i have the rsi i have the bullying japan so when i'm trading spot i always like using these two indicators but while we are here, we are going to actually analyze everything and see how you can actually get this um, showing up on your app. Okay. So now the first thing I want you to note is that the trade, the analysis we are going to do here will be on the BTC USDT pair. Okay. If you don't want that, you can click on it and change it. Right. Then we have the current price as it's changing right here. Okay. And then here you will see okay the 24 hours high of this particular market okay this is the high it was able to go to you will see the low you will see the volume that is traded in btc for the past 24 hours okay and then you see the volume in usdt the higher this volume okay the better the chances of you making money in that particular asset that you are analyzing all right and then at the top right here we have these three options here the first one here is the star icon it is used to favorite if i want to be seeing btc usdt on my favorite list on the home page just go ahead and check this if i want to remove it from this favorite list i can uncheck just click on it okay it will be great that if i click on it all right it comes up that yellow again once it is yellow it means that it is active it means that this is on our favorite list all right then when it is grayed out, it means that nothing is happening there. Then the next up icon to read, if I click on the next icon to read, it gives you a comparison of the pairs, okay, BTC against other pairs. So you can see BTC, USDT, BTC, AUD, BTC, um, BD, um, BID, arrow. you see all of this. You see the changes, the pair, you know, um, the prices and you can use this to equally spot arbitrage opportunity okay that is how you can assess that and see the difference in prices against btc and other pairs right then the other option here is to share your chart if i want to share my chart and i go ahead and click on it you see it comes up you can now share it to any social media platform or just download it to your phone and use it for whatever you want to use it for okay all right now if I come down here, okay, the next option I need to explain to you is this one right here. Okay, that is our time frame. Okay, so um, from what I have here, I have line, I have 15 minutes, I have one hour, I have four hours, I have daily. Your own may not be showing this way, but I'll show you how to actually let some of the time frame showing up here. And if you want to see more of this time frame, you can click on the more to here to see more time frame okay so if i go ahead and click on more here you see all this other time frame one second okay six hours eight hours on all of that right 
so um, if you want to select your preferred interval as, as you can see here you can click on the arrow here to do that okay so if i go ahead and click on where it says select prefer um prefer preferred intervals okay if i click on it you see why you are seeing line is because i have selected it as my preferred interval why you are seeing uh, you know the 15 minutes the one hour and all of that so i can only select five of these at a time all right so if i go ahead and decide to select one second it will complain that i will only select five at a time so if i want to select one second i need to unselect one of these ones that i've selected already so i can click on line to unselect it and then i can click on one second if i want to select one minute i will uncheck one and click on one so i can only select five at a time all right so if i click on save what that now means is that instead of me going to mode to check and more time frame i can easily switch between one minute 15 minutes one hour four hours daily time frame all right then if i want more i can now click on more to go select that particular one all right so that is a this is about time frame and then the next option we have here is the one that is called the depth if i go ahead and click on that so here you see it shows you um this style uh, let's say graphical representation of the bulls and the bears in the market okay so you see this uh you can equally use this in trading actually but i don't use this the, most of the time i prefer using time frames and the rest okay so you can use your time frames to determine all of that then the next option we have there is your preference to this is where you adjust the settings to this chart so if i go ahead and click on the preference to let's say i click on that here you have you know settings to indicators the height the style the drawing tools and then you have more settings and all of these other options that you have here okay for these other options they are all um you know important if you want to use them you can click on them and see what it does for instance if i want to adjust the height of this chart right if i go ahead and click on the height so this line comes up and if i just click and drag you see that it adjusts the height of my chart so it takes it up and down and all of that okay then um if i go back to the preference tool again if i click on the preference tool again it brings us um you know to this page and then there are other settings you can do here for instance if i want to change the style of my chart from green and uh, red i can click on the style option right so here you can change the color to whatever color that you prefer you can change the background you can change the grid line and all of that so just select and change the color to whatever you want okay if i want it to be yellow you see that the chart has um, the candlesticks already changed to yellow then if i want to change the red i can do that okay but i prefer using the, the green and, and uh, red option the default option there okay so if you have done any settings here that you don't like you can always use this button to set it back to default okay so that is how you can adjust those settings then we have um the drawing tools if you want to use drawing tools once i click on drawing tools you see that it will flip my app okay to the opposite direction so i can now come in here here you see all of your drawing tools now one thing i want to let you know is that because you are using the mobile app there are limits to some of these tools okay when you use the web uh, version you have a lot of uh, a whole access to a lot of these tools but once you are using the mobile app okay there are limits to some of the tools you can use okay so here you can just click on any of these two trend lines okay extended trend and all of that if you click on the next one you can see what it tells you here the triple wave and all of that okay if you want to use the rectangular tool you can click on it just click on the chart and then you know drag and drop where you want right and you know just use it if you don't want it again just click on it to delete it and all of that now if i want to go back there is an icon at the top right okay two arrow face, facing each other just click on it to exit that page and it will bring us back to this page right to where we were before and all of that so if you click on it again you'll see other settings which you can adjust if you want you can adjust them just click on it and you understand what it does on the chart and all of that right then the next option that i want to share with you here is 
the indicator before we go to the indicators tab um here is your chart okay this is the candlestick when the candles are green it means that the candle opened from down okay and then it closes up okay when they are red it means that it opens from up and then it closes down okay so that is basically what you need and then this other tiny line are call weeks okay they are all call weeks so what this means is that after the market opened from down it went up to as high as this level and then came back and closed below here okay so those are just basic to you know what this candlesticks does and how you can use them all right then um i have this indicators added to the chart if i want to switch them off you can see the indicators down here this is your indicators tab now because you are using the app there are limits to the number of indicators you can equally use okay so these are the only indicators you can use this ones you see here if i scroll and uh, scroll this way then if i select rsi once it is inactive you see it disappear from the chart the one that is active right now is the bollinger band if i go ahead and click on it again it will disappear from the chart all right now if i want to add the rsi it adds it up now for the first time for those of you who will be using the rsi for the first time once you use the rsi this is not how it looks like so your rsi may be adding three different rsi to your chart so once there are three different rsi added to your chart how you want to adjust this up that option is to use the preference tool here okay so once you click on it remember we saw indicator option there so you can see indicator here just go ahead and click on the indicators then you want this is the this these are all the indicators that you can use on the app okay so you want to adjust the indicator that you want to currently use in this instance we want to adjust the settings for the rsi so if i go ahead and select the rsi now when you newly add your rsi you will see it here that this three will be checked okay this three will be checked you don't need the three rsi at the same time right so you want to check any of these and i like using the one with the value of 14 okay i like using the one with the value of 14 that's how you see i, I uncheck this and i uncheck this then if i want to change the color i can go ahead and change the color by just clicking on the color option here i select any color of my choice if i want to make the line thicker okay i'll select this option here and then adjust the thickness of the line okay so you see the first one here is um, a bit tiny the second one is a bit thicker and then the last one there is even more bolder okay so i select the last one and i go ahead and click on confirm and then go back and that is what you see showing up here that is how you adjust your rsi and that is the same setting you use to adjust all of um any of these um indicators that you want to add up here now if i want to add another indicator added to the rsi i will just select it for instance if i want to add eme go ahead and click on eme and it will be added to the chart if you want to adjust it go to the setting just like i showed you right now and then adjust the eme the way you want okay then if i want to add macd for instance i'll just click on it macd will be added if you want to adjust it go there if i click on it again it will remove if i click on the ema to remove if i want to add volume you see it added there okay select volume and all of this just everything here okay now if i want the bollinger bands i click on it to be added so um basically this is what you, you how you add chart okay how you add indicators to your chart and be able to use it to you know start analyzing the market to know um how to use it right i have done videos which i'll leave in the link in, um, the link in the video description okay about how i use rsi and um, the bollinger bands in trading spot on the binance exchange okay so after that when we scroll down here okay we have the other book all right these are web or pending orders are showing both sell and buy orders those who are using limit stop limit and all of that okay there are others are all pending here then we have trees so if you click on trees you see all the um, trees here you have trading data you see all of those okay represented in this graph here then you have info which you can see information about that particular token that you are trading on the binance exchange and all of that okay so this is basically about you know analyzing your chart from 
this area okay so if i click on the arrow at the top left there to go back it will now bring us back to the spot trading interface and when we have open orders you see them here you see your phones here okay and all of that so if you have pending orders you always see them here showing up here right so if you want to buy and sell you just click on the buy option sell option uh, then you have limit and then all these other types that you can use to analyze the market i've done videos on how to use all of these other types which i will equally leave links in the video description make sure that you see them and be able to implement them correctly okay so that is all i have for you in this video if you have questions concerning you know using the technical tools uh, on the binance app in analyzing your spot market leave a comment in the video description using the comment section leave a comment using the comment section and you can always always join my telegram okay to learn more where i do have you know uh, meetings live section with the, my followers uh, take their questions and all of that that is all i have for you in this video if you are new to the channel make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that when videos like this are published you'll be the first to be notified if you don't have a binance account use the link i've equally provided to sign up for one all right i'll see you in my next video